Now let's return to those student protests over federal budget cuts to education. We've got live pictures now from Sydney and students marching through the CBD. Our reporter Rebecca Barrett joins us on the line. Rebecca, what numbers do we have at this Sydney rally? Kim, it's a bit hard to tell at this stage. Uh, there are hundreds of students marching down uh, the middle of the Sydney CBD at the moment, down George Street. Uh, my best guess when we were up at the University of Technology, there were about 300 people. I think another 300 marched down from the University of Sydney. So I wouldn't be game to put a number on them at this stage. They're quite a vocal, angry mob. Uh, understandably, uh, they're protesting today, uh, obviously, uh, as a result of the cuts to the federal budget. They're worried about higher course fees from 2016. They're worried about the government cutting 20% of its funding to course fees. They think that that's going to mean that they're, they're going to end up paying even more, regardless of the federal government saying that they will be putting money into scholarships now. There's been a bit of a scuffle here. We're not exactly sure what's going on, but halfway down George Street, the protesters did sit down. Uh, one of the student union representatives said to me that uh, apparently a, a police, uh, police on horse was walking through the crowd, not quite sure what happened. But police reinforcements have been brought in and they're up ahead of me now. The students are marching to Town Hall where they plan to stage a sit-in. So there's lots of interesting, colourful banners and chants, as you would expect at any university protest. And these are happening in uh, some of the big capital cities around the country today. Rebecca Barrett, it's Tony. Uh, we, we've seen some of the pictures out of Melbourne and there was quite a police presence, particularly when the students uh, finished their march at Parliament House. Is there an overt police presence in Sydney? Very much so. Now, the students say that they obviously have police permission for this march, that it was squared off with the police well before. I think it was a week before. There's a police escort. I'm just walking at the front of the march now. Um, but as I mentioned, reinforcements have been brought in and I've just seen about two dozen police uh, walk ahead of me up George Street to the town hall. So police are obviously trying to contain the march to one side of the road, so half of the, uh, the street is blocked. Cars are still able to head off in the other direction. But, yeah, a very strong police presence here. Uh, but at this stage, apart from those uh, minor scuffles I mentioned, so far so good it's been. Finally, Rebecca Barrett, have you been able to ascertain if students have come from uh, universities in cities outside Sydney or some of the regions, for example? Yes, indeed. I know that students have come down from the University of Newcastle. Uh, there are students here from the University of Western Sydney. One of them actually addressed uh, the crowd, the rally at UCS before the march started, saying... She said that, you know, she is a low-income student. She's actually on Centrelink and she's trying to go to uni and these cuts are going to hit her particularly hard. So it's not just the big sandstone universities, it's not just the universities in Sydney CBD, but obviously students from the University of Sydney, uh, UNSW and UTS are pretty highly represented here. So lots of cheering and yahooing, as you can see now and hear now. Yes. Lots of cars are beating their horns in support of the students. OK, well, Rebecca Barrett, that's where we'll leave you uh, on the line there now. And uh, we'll also leave our live pictures of the student rally there uh, in Sydney, making their way to uh, Town Hall in George Street.